Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, on Saturday said the Green Chamber would work to ensure uh, that traditional rulers have constitutional roles. Abbas said this has become necessary due to the critical roles traditional rulers play in society. The Speaker, who is representing Zaria Federal Constituency for the first time, uh, first paid homage to the Emir's Palace, where he noted that important role of traditional rulers and institutions um, has to be called for recognition in the 1999 Constitution. Joining us to discuss this and more is Tunji Abdulhamid, he's a legal practitioner, and also joining us is um, Elvis Asya, who's also a legal practitioner. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Good evening. Thank you, Ravi. Thank you for being here. Great. Since we're talking constitutional roles here, where the speaker has brought up um, the fact that these constitutional, these roles of traditional rulers have to be constitutional one way or the other. Let me start with you, Tunji. This is not the first time that we're hearing. In fact, recently, I think last week, um, uh, an Oba um, here in the Southwest had called for um, the National Assembly to make um, traditional rulers some some sort of um, give them some constitutional powers. In fact, he did ask that a federal ministry of uh, chief tenancy affairs be created. But I'm asking, how does this one way or the other um, help the situation of Nigeria as it is today? Is that what we need right now? Mary Anne, I've been wondering as well that uh, what constitutional rule are they talking about? What is the effect of that constitutional rule would be on our economy and our development in this country. I, I'm, I'm, I've, been, I've, been, I've been racking my head. I've been thinking about it. I don't know what I say. Unfortunately, they are making it difficult for us because they were just talking about assigning us a constitutional rule. They, they are not even specifically mentioning any particular rule they want, they, want to, they, want, they want to play. I am confused. I don't know the rule that will be assigned to them because for me, traditional laws are already recognized under, mm -hmm. whether, under our law because most of the, the if each state has a a, a, a law that has to do with the efficiency the affairs. They, are, they even have commissioners, so they have uh, that role already assigned to in, in that uh, particular uh, whatever. And when you say traditional ruler, they have their role traditionally given to them. They are custodians of the culture and tradition. So I don't see why, I don't know what a, 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 a recognition under the constitution will change. I don't know what, uh, maybe, I don't know what it will take away from the, what they are doing now. I don't know what it will add to the to the circumstances that we have in this country today if they are recognized under the constitution. The only thing I know that once they are recognized under the constitution, well, what we need to know is to spend more money in, in, in that area and it will cost more money in that regard. As far as I'm concerned, traditional rulers today are part of our system because uh, most of the politicians, the governors, they recognize them. Even though under the law, most of the laws of the state, they are, they are under the local governments. But the state, whenever they want to do anything, they assign a role to them. In other words, they recognize them. They will go to them for a, a consultation. They go to them for a, 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 a advice. They go to them for these are these are already roles. As far as I'm concerned, I don't I don't expect. I don't know the constitutional rule they are talking about again and what what they want the question to do to say at the traditional rule, these are your duty. These are your duty. There will be conflicts because they are still today. Now we are no longer in the in the, in the era of a colonial, whereby the traditionals are being used as a, a to play the role what the governors are playing today. When, when you assign a role to the government, is it going to be as, a, as, as, as in, in the judiciary? Is it going to be in the executive? Is it going to be in the legislature? I don't know which of the roles they want to play, that there won't be any conflict. As far as I'm concerned, they should just be, they should just be a, a, a recognize their role as traditional rulers. In other words, custodians of culture. They are respected. They are being, they are being carried along in that, in that manner. They are regarded as the number one stakeholder in every community they have. And whenever the governor wants to do anything, they were the first point of contact to the governor will, 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 will go to. So I don't you understand the constitutional rule they are talking about. I need more education in mm. that. I've been, it. I've been thinking about it. I, I am not mm. uh, confused that there is need for any special constitutional rule assigned to traditional ruler. We are no longer in that colonial era whereby the traditional ruler are the one being uh, used to govern the state uh, uh, or the community where they are. We now have a governor. We now have councillor. We have commissioners. We have this and that. Except we are going to clear some rules. We are going to remove the the, mm -hmm. the local government council. We are going to remove the commissioner or whatever. They will not give that particular role to the to the to the to the, to the others. I, for me, I don't. I don't. I'm stand, I'm still thinking, and uh, to see <laughs> which role okay. would, be, would be adequate for for them as it is to them. They have a role already as far as I'm concerned. 
Okay, let me come to you, Elvis. Um, I want to quote the speaker directly. He says, I want to make a promise to you today. He's promising Zaria people that I, I remember three years ago when we held Zodal hearings on constitutional amendments, you made submissions regarding the need for traditional rulers to have constitutional roles. I would like to assure you, he says, that we now have the opportunity with me as your son being the speaker we will look at the proposal once again so that our traditional rulers will have recognition recognition, and constitutional roles. How expedient is this? Again, um, many people um, look at traditional rulers and their roles as advisory, purely advisory. Um, and if we say that these people have to have constitutional roles, are we going to have to vote for um, our kings or our traditional rulers? Bear in mind that they've always been running battles with these traditional rulers. Sometimes they say you're not the one that should run, you're not from the stock of the king, etc., etc. Um, how expedient an idea is this? Bearing in mind the, the numbers of petitions that are on the floor of the National Assembly, including the Green Chamber. Uh, well, thank you. I think the starting point is to recognize the fact that uh, we are not uh, doing well in terms of bringing governance to the people at the grassroots in, in this country mm -hmm. today. Uh, our local government system has completely failed. Um, what we have now is more like a glorified uh, place for the governors of the states to put in their stooges, you know, uh, to run. So right now, there's no governance at local level, uh, and 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 so uh, there's there's a need for us to rethink the way our constitution is structured. In terms of reaching uh, people at the, at the grassroots, and the, another thing that we also need to consider is the fact that when you look at the security situation uh, in the country right now, in terms of uh, you know all the crises that we have across the country, uh, we need to begin to look at how best we can tap uh, local knowledge and uh, bring in local resources in you know helping government to address some of these issues. I think the question is not is not really whether or not uh, they should be given uh, some constitutional role. I think the question should be uh, how, how should that role be defined? You know, what kind of role are we looking at? Uh, just like you asked, is it a, a case of um, creating analytic positions for them? I think that is perhaps what is um, um, you know making a lot of people to oppose uh, the possibility or you know of uh, amending our constitution to give some recognition to the traditional rulers. But if we look at it from the point of view of, you know, formalizing what, you know, technically they are already doing in terms of assisting uh, state state government, the federal government to address issues of security at local government levels, uh, you know, just giving them some backing, some um, legal teeth uh, to do that. I think that that is probably uh, needed at this point in time in the way and manner our country is being run. Uh, we also need to look at, you know, uh, the area of dispute resolution. The traditional institution has always been part of that, but we can formalize it. Today, we talk about ADR, alternative dispute resolution, for example. Uh, why can't we formalize, you know, chief decision matters, uh, land disputes, you know, all of these disputes that can be resolved by traditional institutions. But, and but, 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 but Elvis, states do have this. For example, I speak from my state. Cross River State Government does have a department of chief tainty affairs. And, and just as you spoke about disputes, you know, resolution, they come in handy. I can't say the same for several other states. So why the what's other form of formalization if states the, and local governments under, understand and recognize them? What else are we looking for here? What is they're already performing these roles, some of these roles, but but there isn't any uh, legal f uh, f formality to it. For example, if you go to a traditional ruler to resolve disputes, is that really enforceable in a way? So that's 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 one thing that we need to look at. Um, if you are looking at community policing, for example, you can't do that without really incorporating traditional institutions. Um, all of these security votes that the state governors are, you know, posting for security in, in, in the states. I mean, some of these funds should go into, um, you know, um, the traditional institutions in helping, in assisting to address issues of security. So for me, it's, I think we have to look at, yes, there are issues about partisanship. People will begin to say, you know, you now have a traditional ruler who is um, 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 uh, who now have to be involved in governance and all of that. But the point is, we are not looking at politicizing uh, the traditional institution. We are not looking at creating an elective position for them. We are saying that some of these things they are doing already, uh, they can be empowered by law to. Um, you know, I mean, don't forget that it was just only in 1979 that this idea of 
uh, not involving traditional rulers, uh, you know, actually came into being before 1979. Other constitutions that we've had, even in 1960, 1973 uh, constitutions, you know, there were assigned rules to traditional rulers. We had traditional uh, uh, um, council, both at the state level, at the state level, at the federal level, and all of that. We can, we can, we can bring all of that back in an attempt to try to address issues of security, issues of local dispute resolution, we can't, you know, um, discount the, the contributions that they can make, in, you know. And then somebody talked about, you know, funding that. I mean, if you if you if we are realistic, we are already spending a lot of money on the traditional institution. The governors actually patronize them, you know. So rather than just paying this money behind it, let's give them the role, let them do the work, and 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 you know, some of these funds are already getting into their hands, you know, whether directly or indirectly. Mm-hmm. Uh, because the governors, the, even the presidents, are, they, they, they patronize them. They try to get them yeah. to their, you know, because, you know, they, they are very close to the, the, the people at the grassroots. And so for me, okay. uh, look at the failure of governance at the grassroots level today. Um, we, 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 we might, or we should rethink the way and manner we incorporate the traditional institution in governance in the country. Great. Let me come back to you, Tunji. Let's pick up from where Elvis has started. Very interesting. Um Yes, if we do one way or the other incorporate these guys, because he's talked about um, enabling them to be part of the district re- resolution in, in terms of insecurity, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'll start somewhere before I go where I'm going to. Um, so it's beautiful that we want to bring them to do the jobs legally now because they're already doing it, but then there has to be some form of legal um, um, recognition okay. for them. Let's say, for instance, in River State, half the time, and this is not allegedly, most of the cult-related activities were covered up by the said traditional rulers, royal fathers, etc., etc., making the job of policemen pretty difficult for them. They catch one, the traditional ruler goes and, and sets bail or says, release him, he's my boy. And then these people go around cutting people's heads off and, you know, the insecurity continues. That's on the one side. Um, so if we are saying that we want to, these guys are supposed to help governments to do the job or make their job easier, how will governments also make sure that these people are held responsible if, the you know, the job that they're supposed to do is not done properly? In terms of security people, if the government is already strong, I mean, local government chairmen who are um, elected officials to hold those offices, Who's to say that they can also not strong arm these traditional rulers, Tunji? We mean, we do respect, and uh, it's not as if I'm saying that the traditional rulers are not should not be recognized or they are not uh, important. What I'm saying is that I don't understand the kind of uh, constitutional recognition they are still looking for. They are already recognized by law. They are already recognized by constitution. They are rulers, culture, and uh, and uh, and uh, 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 custodian of culture and tradition are, are being recognized in my own town. Our other for a world is like a law. Whatever he says, nobody dare change it or even they challenge it. And I'm not sure the people are challenging anybody in that regard. So if you are saying they should assign a rule to them like ADR, they should be force of law on it, we are duplicating the issue. Each I'm very sure each state has its own ADR system. And even if, if you want to talk about ADR, alternative dispute resolution, when you go and do ADR in the Obas Palace or whatever they is done and it's presided over by Oba, you won't be free to even say whatever you want to say. You'll be afraid. Because of the, the, we, see, we see them as a, as a semi-god. In, in my own town, we respect our emir. And we, we, dare not, we don't challenge his authority. We, we, we respect him. Whatever he says, we believe in it, whether right or wrong. But we, people can just... Uh, recently, if you notice that there was an issue, we asked Soinka, or uh, Professor Soinka, say something about our Oba. You can see the, 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 if you see the response from the people, even those who are not a, a, a friend of the, of, of the Oba. But for me, they have a role already. They have, they have, they have role is cultural art. Consider of culture. So if you are asking for consumer backing, I don't understand what what effects that will take. The only effect I can recognize that that will take is that maybe they will have a, a budget of their own that will be assigned to them or for their robin for the robin pay. But can we, can, afford, can, can we afford that right now? Because again, Nigeria is in a very tough place. Um, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. That I don't understand what they're asking for. That's what I'm saying. So can we understand. afford the budget for them? It, that, I, I won't. I won't support that because we already have. They are. They are already operating in their. They are. They are number one stakeholder in every community that I, that I know. In my own community, our Oba is number one stakeholder. If the government wants to do anything, in fact, and the Oba says, "I don't like this. Don't let it happen." The government will not do. 
And so I don't understand the kind of the, if you talk about security. If the doctor, the other is saying, look, I there's a I'm afraid there's something sort of will happen here. I need this to be done here. I need, they will obey, they will they will align with it. They will go with it. So I don't maybe I'm talking about maybe in my own town, maybe in some other town, maybe they don't respect their they maybe there are people who don't respect the the traditional rulers. Maybe they see them as something else. I don't know. In my own town, it's not it's not, it's not the case. So I'm not exposed to other area whereby they have their traditional ruler there. But for me, as far as I know about my traditional ruler, I don't know the constitutional rule that will be assigned to him again than the one that you're already doing. They are they they had they are they are they are, they are giving advice to the to, to the to those in government. Are they going to be made local or federal authority under which rule are they going to be assigned? Are they going to be made? And I'm not aware of any law which says Obama cannot be made the chairman of any particular committee or 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 any 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 government uh, 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 what's it called commission. If you want, if you need a commission that you want to Obama to, to play a role there, put them there as the chairman. I, I'm I'm aware most of the Obama are the chairmen of the uh, university council or whatever they call it. They are they are they are, they are, they are, they are operating in that regard. So I don't. They, they, that's the role. Okay. So I don't. I don't understand. Okay. I don't know. I'm thinking about. The, I don't know the effect of that constitutional recognition that that that, that and the exact, exact constitutional recognition they are looking for. Those who have been saying it, they have not specifically mentioned one constitutional role they want them to be playing or to play. And they've not mentioned mm -hmm. it. Yes. Our, our traditional should be assigned. or uh, should be recognized constitutionally. What they've not told us the kind of constitutional uh, recognition. They want for them. So is it going okay. to be in the area of executive, executive duty or judiciary duty? I don't know. And like I said, they can they have been doing their ADR, uh, uh, what they've been setting dispute between the people within their area, and they've been doing the providing support in, a, in, a, in, some, in, some, in some instances. Uh, for me, I don't know the uh, okay. I'm, I'm at loss to the kind of uh, rule they will assign to them under the constitution. Finally, let me come to you, Elvis, in closing, because we have just about two minutes to wrap this up. Um Talking about, you know, like you have posited, you know, giving them more legal backing to be able to do what they're already doing. Um, let's look at Tajuddin Abbas and, of course, both the Red and the Green Chambers um, and what they're prioritizing and what this says. I mean, we're not in any way trying to water down this. You obviously have argued really greatly on both sides as to for and against it. But in the other priority, especially, again, I emphasize where we are as a country, should this be topping the priority list of our national assembly? Well, I mean, uh, you know, you are right. Uh, there are, you know, more serious challenges that we face right now, uh, particularly economically. Um, as we speak, uh, Nigerians can barely, uh, you know, are barely surviving. The uh, inflation rate is, you know, uh, over the roof. Um, but what we what we hear now is you know uh, uh, um, uh, loans for further loans being secured, and we hear stories of eight thousand naira being paid to people, and so you are right to uh, you know think that um, the national assembly should at this point uh, you know uh, be focusing on more important things you know, but uh, the security challenges in the country at the, at the grassroots level is something also very fundamental. And I think that uh, we cannot really take that away. Uh, if we are looking at, for example, the issue of uh, community policing, uh, we can't actually achieve that without actually giving some responsibility to traditional rulers, and you know, so that we can hold them responsible. Um, in the event you 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 have you have painted this, the, the picture of some of the things that are happening, these things are happening because uh, some of the traditional rulers have no uh, obligation; they have no responsibility that is defined by law. They do whatever they, that, 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 that you know whatever pleases them. So the National Assembly, yes, you're right. You know, there are so many issues facing the National Assembly. I think what um, is happening right now is, is largely political. Even the, from the presidency, there's an attempt to try to get general acceptance. You know, I mean, there's mm. this, uh, there's this um, um, uh, uh, doubt hanging over the electoral process that brought in this government. Let us be realistic. And I think this okay. appeal for foreign rulers is basically an attempt to oil that uh, political um, okay. uh, situation. Yes. Well... Well, I, I want to say thank you, gentlemen. Unfortunately, time is not on our side, but I want to say thank you. Uh, Tunji Abdulhamid, Elvis Asia, both are legal practitioners. Thank you for being part of the conversation. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Uh, all right. Well, that's the show tonight. We want to thank you all for participating, for watching. Don't forget, you can also go and play catch up on our previous episodes on Plus Politics. All you need to do is go to Plus TV Africa on YouTube, subscribe and follow all of our programs. I'm Mary Anokon. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.